one. That's the problem. I ain't got no money. That's why I've been sent this to try out because I'm I don't have no money to buy it. But that's the good thing is that I get to let you motherfuckers know if it's good or not and whether you should spend your money and we'll figure out whether I would spend my dollar on this. I hope you guys are today. <laughs> I hope you guys are all good today and I hope you've had a lovely week and a lovely life. If you're new here, I hope you've had a great life so far. If not, you know what? We will go through shit. It's okay. I'm here now. I could be your agony aunt, your agony Jess. Jessica, Jess Ag Jessica me. I'm your Jessica me. Talk to me, I'm here for you. If your beautiful face is new around here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It would be much appreciated because to be honest with you, I'm gonna be real. You're gonna love this video and you's gonna love the rest of my shit because you're gonna watch the next one and then the next one and the next one and then you're gonna watch all of them. And then, there we go. You're gonna be happy. That's it. My job's done. Today, the wonderful people over at Vego Box. Vego Box. Vigo Box. I like Vego Box. Have sent me a subscription box to try. I'm really excited. It's a vegan subscription box company. What an itchy nipple, Brosby. So it's a monthly subscription box. Vegan snacks, exciting, new, from all over the world, you know, everything, you know. So, I mean, there's not much more to say. Let's just get into it, yeah? Let's get into it. I have to work like, oh, be just the shine like Russell. Where are they from? It's another language. I don't know. Sweden! They're Swedish! They're fucking Swedish, man! All the best companies are from Sweden. When I say all the best, I mean only. Oh, mate! Oh yeah, YouTuber life. You um, you do your top half, but then your bottom half is just your PJs, really, isn't it? Anyway, <sighs> am I doing it right? I'm just mashing up the box like. I think I'm doing it right. <sighs> well, shit, then. I don't want this to happen. Nah. I've mashed it up in it. <sighs> Alright. Let's get the first glance. You wanna focus though, you wanna focus. Ah. Oh. Oh alright. You can win a free box from Vega Box. First things you gotta do. What did you think of Vega Box this month? Create a video or take a photo of your unboxing experience. And I choose to create a video. Am I gonna win? You're down right, I'm gonna win, homie. It's the green ash lock, didn't you know? I just condensated the fuck up out of that lens. Sorry. Alright, that's the first thing. Can you see? Yeah. Second one, upload your photo or video to Instagram. Okay, tag your friends to increase your chances of winning a free Vega box. I'm gonna be tagging all you motherfuckers out of you. Oh, okay. Recipe card. We've got a recipe card up here. Sorry for the glare. Okay. Vegan recipe of the month. Beetroot pesto pasta. Every month you get a new recipe card in your Vega box to help inspire you to make tasty new vegan recipes at home. Every recipe is created by Sophia Von Porat. Cookbook. Porat? Am I saying that right? Sorry, babe, if I said your name wrong. Sorry. Uh, cookbook author and founder of Vega Box. Hello, my love. Look, there she is. Can you see her? Anyway, she's pretty. Pretty blonde woman. Um, yeah, all right. And that does actually look quite delightful. But I'm not going to lie, I'm not here for the recipe card. Although it is a bonus, I'm here for the snacks. So let's get into that. At first glance, at first glance, we see Piper's Crisp Co. Made by Farmers Whissington Tomato. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all of the damn things there and then I'm going to choose a few that I'm going to try because I don't want to open them all now, let's be real because I'm not going to eat them all now, or am I? You never know. Dairy Free Raspberry Ice Bites. These are by the same brand that does the fudge. Are these Luscious Morris Raspy Juicy Icy Bites? I'm very confused. What is, hello? What is an icy bite exactly? Well, we're just going to have to find out, aren't we? Let's put you up there, my love. So yeah, these are by the brand that do the vegan fudge. And the fudge is delicious. I'm not really a fan of, like, raspberry flavoured things. So I'd like to see how that goes. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. Yeah, and that's water in there, so that must be a good sign. Mmm! This reminds me of something. I'm not sure what though. Okay, they're quite pleasant. Has it got coconut on it? Mm, yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of coconut, but these are nice. The flavour is nice. And for anyone who does like coconut, if you are loyal to me, you motherfuckers will already know how much I love Perkia. I fucking love Perkia as a brand, man. Like, can you fucking see that shit or no? Hello? You're jarring me. You are fucking jarring me. There we go, Perkia. And actually, you know what? The universe has worked out for me because in my favorites video here, I say how much I love the quinoa cashew, the cacao quinoa cashew bar from Perkia, but I haven't tried any others because I'm just obsessed, obsessed with that one. And I don't want to spend more money on the next one. So, the universe, eh? This one's actually really quite thick. This is thicker than normal, I'm sure. Of course. Of course it's delicious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mmm. Perkia. Perkia. Perkia are great. I love Perkia. And shout out to Vega Box for putting Perkia in there. I rate you. I rate you a little bit more. Irish Oat Granola Bar. Gentle Ginger. So. I guess it's just, it's an oat bar. It looks like it's got chocolate on top. And I guess it's a subtle ginger flavour. Let's try this one as well then. Oh, oh mate. It smells like um like ginger gingerbread. I'm gonna mouse water in again. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh that's really nice that. I've never heard of this brand before. The foods of Athenry. I'm guessing that's a place in Ireland. If it's if it is, let me know. If it's not, correct me. Yeah, yeah. That's what's really nice. I wasn't expecting that to be that nice because like I'm not a big fan of like oat bars, breakfast bars. But this one's really good. Okay, okay. Now you guys are treating me. Okay. Coco motherfucking Libre, son. A delicious dairy-free alternative to orange milk chocolate. So I'm expecting this to taste like Terry's chocolate orange. Oh! Guys, smell that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that fucking smells like Terry's chocolate orange broski. Oh, that smells delicious. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells great, that. Yeah. I'm just going to have a square. <laughs> Whoa. Guys, got a trick for you, yeah? Whenever you have the hiccups, on your first hiccup, you've got to turn something over. What can I turn over? Oh! My chocolate found for five second rule. Definitely longer than five seconds. Anyway, on your first hiccup, guys, turn something. What is that? Turn something over quite a few times, and your hiccups are gonna go. I don't know what it is, subconscious thing, anybody knows about mind control, let me know because I just mind controlled the fuck out of you. Bruh. What the fuck? How is that vegan? No way. No way, that's proper good that. Shit. What? That is not. This shit is good, this shit is really good. Coco Libre. <laughs> I've never tried these, these, um, these things here. What, it's like, um, baby food, isn't it? It just makes your life a lot easier. Good and go, oatmeal, apple and cinnamon. Vegan, gluten-free, lactose-free. 
it's probably really fucking good and literally perfect on the go like it says apple juice from concentrated water gluten-free oats acerola juice from concentrated rice flour lemon juice from concentrated cinnamon that's it there's no added sugar that's actually really good i'm not gonna try it but i'm gonna have it tomorrow because i'm gonna be going out early in the morning so this will be perfect but yeah this is this, this definitely piqued my interest apple and cinnamon i bet it's actually gonna taste delicious you know I'll let you know on the Instagram. I'll let you know if it bangs or not, because it might not bang, but it might bang, so you never know. And last, and personally, most likely least, licorice. Oh! You know what, Vega Box, Sophia, you were not to know that I don't like licorice. And you know what, you can't have it all. You can't have it all, so I'm definitely going to try this. Maybe I might like licorice now after like 10 million years. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to... I'm not going to lie. This doesn't really interest me. All right, as always, I'm gonna be real with you. Personally, this does not bang. I don't love it and I don't hate it, but I wouldn't buy these. I know a lot of people love licorice, so. Oh, it's like sucking my teeth, bro. Why am I holding my teeth? <laughs> mm, yeah. Licorice is definitely an acquired taste. It's like you either love it or you hate it. A bit like Marmite. And I love Marmite, so I guess you would think that I'd love licorice, but. Nah, bruh. Yeah, that's that. You can't, you can't love it all, you know? You know, what are the odds? I mean, how many products are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, my chocolate, man. You get seven. Hello, don't do that. Sort your life out, bro. Yeah, you get seven products. Oh, it's actually, nah, man, it's actually stuck in my fucking throat. Where's the water? So, I mean, the odds are you're not gonna like one or two of them. And I only just don't like one of them. So that's good. Aww, that's cute, isn't it? Look. Most of you probably haven't seen Vega Box. I have never heard of Vega Box before, but I've definitely seen a few more things from them. So guys, just hit them up. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a little uh, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, hit the fucking notification bell, man. Because like, you guys need to see this shit. Because this shit stinks good. And you, you need to smell it. Let's be real. You need to smell it. Enough of a chit chat. Have a wonderful day and have an even more wonderful life. Check out Vega Box and uh, smell you later. Bye. Thank you. Bye. So I keep having a, a northern accent sometimes. It's really fucking annoying. I'm really fucking annoying. Like really annoying. I'm like I'm not lying. It's really fucking annoying. Do you ever get it when you just when you piss yourself off and you just you find yourself so annoying? Anyway, back to the unboxing.